Remember last week's video when I started to transform this mid-century modern dresser into a farmhouse style for a client? This will be the second dresser for this client, and here's the first one I did previously. I'm doing some finishing touches here. You're going to want to refer to this video right here for the full painting tutorial that I did on the first one. In case you think that I'm ripping you off <laughs> for a video this week, then stay tuned to the end because there's bonus footage of a feature wall that I did this week. Right now, I am just putting some mud on the inside where I had drilled in for the holes for the drawer poles. And I'm also just sanding a little uh, rough paint before I get to finishing the surface with some wax. I'm wiping off all the sanding dust. And now I'm using Dixie Belle's Easy Peasy Spray Wax. You want to shake this stuff really good until you can't hear it in the bottle anymore. That's when you know it's ready to uh, spray. It's just a wax in a bottle. It's really good stuff. It's a lot different than the paste wax. And um, some people say that you want to respray it frequently. You can, uh, but it just, it does give your furniture some protection. Uh, this paint will cure itself in 30 days, so it's technically not needed, but I think it gives it a nicer finish. And it's also going to give me a surface to float some dark wax on as well. I'm going to be using some brown wax on here. So I'm wiping back uh, the spray wax at first and then uh, using Dixie Belle's brown wax. And this is a kind of a an older container that I've dropped a few times. So it's getting a little chunky, but that's okay. The wax still works perfectly well. I am going uh, with a detail brush and around the drawers uh, where the drawer pulls are. And I always like to hit up all the corners. So that's how I add some drama, some more drama with some wax. And then I wipe that back. So one more last vacuum on the inside to make sure everything is nice and clean before I hand it over to my client. So remember what this piece looked like before with all its curves. And then this is the last dresser or the inspiration piece that I did for my client. Well, here's what this dresser looks like. Here comes that bonus footage I promised you. So I've been working with a client and we're trying to replicate this uh, wallpaper for a feature wall in her new wellness clinic that she'll be opening soon called 360 Wellness. So I started with this white wall and used a gray primer and then I'm using all the, the next colors are all Dixie Belle Silk and this is Nautical. And I'm just coating the wall. I use about one and a half coats, I say. Um, I was amazed at how dark the coverage was, but then I went back in and just covered a few areas because I knew I'd be adding pattern to it. Next, I take the color Quiet Cove and I just sketch in some lines because I'm putting a background that I can build on here. And then I take an Iron Orchid Design stamp. 
I'm using two stamps, the peony and also the chrysanthemum stamp. I'm just using various uh, pieces from it. So I'm just kind of randomly stamping and I'm using several stamps from one um, brush. I'm just using a brush to um, put the, the paint on. So some of them are lighter than others. So I kind of made a map of how this was all going to work. So that's why I have a book in my hand because I just want to kind of stick to the, the basic pattern. So this uh, paint is Moonshine Metallics Gold Digger. So it's giving it a, a gold shimmery look. And I just drew the stems in as per my map. <laughs> and then I'm coming back in with that peony stamp. And this is, actually this is the chrysanthemum stamp. And again, we're using the Quiet Cove color. Next, I use the color Mirage on the peony stamp. There's some really large flower images in these stamps, so it's perfect for this wall. And as you can see, I use some gold to uh, stamp some leaves from these as well. So I keep showing you progress photos here before each step. And now I use some umber and add some brown leaves. And I also take my brush and kind of stroke along those gold lines and just kind of blend it in a little bit uh, to to just give some dimension to those stems Next, I felt like the gold stems were just a little bit too broad. So I take a brush with the nautical paint, which is our base, and just narrow down all of the stems. And I'm pretty pleased with the result. What do you think? Stay tuned for more feature walls. Thank you so much for watching today. If you like this video, how about giving it a thumbs up and also share it with your friends? If you haven't subscribed, you'll want to do that so you don't miss anything. Visit us at LaVintageDecor.company and on Instagram we're LaVintageDecor and on Facebook we're LaVintageDecor Altoona. Stay well!